Annyeonghaseyo and welcome to my channel. I'm Talia and I'm here to try Korean beauty products, things that you might just not have known about to like new and upcoming from all sorts of brands. Today I'm trying the Girlish Repair Oil Essence by Kerasis. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to keep supporting my channel and let's get started. I saw this product recently in my local Korean supermarket. Uh, it's fairly new to New Zealand, I don't know how long it's been up for in Korea, but my husband actually works for a Korean trading company and he was able to get this for me cheaper, so I was like, oh Jen, it's so beautiful. <laughs> I really want to give it a go because First of all, like the packaging is just really, really cute. Uh, and I've been using this from my salon. It's actually a Korean product as well, uh, but it's a little bit more pricey than this one. From memory, I think this was about $30 maybe new. And I think this is retailing for about $16. On the packaging, they're actually really similar. So this one that I've been using is by Amos Professional. It's called the O3 Repair Damage. So this one says Repair Force Therapy Essential Oil. This one says Girlish Repair Oil Essence. The rest of the packaging is all in Korean, but what I will usually do is use two pumps of this after washing my hair, spread it all over my hair, blow dry it, and then use another pump. So what I thought I will do today is split the hair in half and use this on one side, this on the other, and I'll use half the amount I usually use. But first, let's have a quick look at this. So this is the packaging. As you can see, it's really cute. Um, to be honest, this is just the main reason I wanted it but uh, it does sound like it's essentially meant to do the same thing as my other essence. So let's open it up. Ooh, it's a minty color. Oh, it's so cute. So this is what the bottle looks like. Again, basically no English. So if you haven't heard of Kerasis, this is a pretty big hair product brand from Korea that you can find in pretty much any Korean supermarket around New Zealand and I'm guessing you would probably find it overseas as well. I actually realized that the shampoo, conditioner and treatments that I have are all from Kerasis as well. I didn't actually think about it before. So this morning I've already washed my hair with Kerasis shampoo and a straightening treatment. So that's something that I hadn't realized but I am pretty excited to give it a go. I'll just use it exactly the same as I use this one. So I'm just gonna split my hair in half and get straight into it. Um, so I had it permanently straightened, I'd say it would be about seven months ago and it's lasted a really long time. And then for styling, I usually use this, which I've had for years. I use this to tame a little bit of the frizz and then I'm using this to like come some of the flyaways and stuff, just hairspray. I use it on a makeup brush usually. And that's pretty much my hair care routine. Because I usually use two pumps before blow drying, I'll use one pump of this, one pump of this on each side, blow dry my hair and then use another half a pump to one. I'll just go for another pump um, and see how that goes. So I'll start with my normal one on this side. Oh, so just one pump, oh, it doesn't seem like enough. So I usually rub it into my hands and mostly spread it onto the bottoms because of the split ends is what I'm trying to take care of. Um, and then sort of spread the rest out. This one does smell quite nice um, and I've been using it as I say for quite a while. I would say I've been using it for about five months or so and that's how much I've used which is pretty good. And now let's go for a pump of this. Ooh. Okay so this is pump. I might have to pump it a few times to get the product up. Okay, there we go. That does not count as a pump. There we go. Okay, so it smells a little bit more florally. The texture is a little bit thinner, but pretty similar. Oh, this is a little bit more sticky. So before drying my hair, there's not too much of a difference. Um, this one maybe feels a little bit more sticky, so I'll just dry my hair and see how it goes. So my hair is like 90% dry, this is about how much I usually dry it to. The sides feel about the same, it doesn't really feel like there's much difference between them. Just looking in my mirror here, um, there doesn't really seem to be that much difference either. There may be a tiny bit more frizz on this side but basically pretty similar. But overall they feel pretty much the same. 
So if I just apply a little bit more, I'll apply one more pump uh, over the dry hair and see how that feels. So this is the Amos Professional side. And then the Carissa side, I'll give it another pump. Ooh. Okay, this one doesn't seem to spread out quite as nicely. Um, I may have to just brush it through a little bit. So yeah, it's sort of spread out a little bit more. Um, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but this side is definitely did seem to distribute more evenly and this side's a little bit a little bit sticky. Um, I can actually see like the hairs sort of clumped together a little bit almost. It's not bad and I'm sure running a hairbrush through it would um, you know distribute it all really well. Just um, just with the fingertips this one seems to distribute a bit more nicely. Yeah it does sort of have less of a natural I don't know. So that's what that side looks like. I think you can sort of see like it's almost sticking together a little bit and it's got that sheen to it whereas this did absorb more into the actual hair if you can see the difference. I mean yeah it's not too bad but if I um, brush it out yeah I mean that's helped a bit. Yeah that's pretty much all all helped it now. Yeah so overall there's not like a huge difference they do they do both feel quite nice um, neither of them are on the like extremely expensive price range. This one's a little bit cheaper. They're both really good products. I wouldn't say there's a huge difference. As for availability, I think this one may be a little bit easier to find. I know that it will be distributed to quite a lot of stores around Auckland because like that's what my husband does. I don't know about the rest of the country. This one I got from my hair salon. I uh, don't know what other hair salons it would be in. After just one use, I don't really have much else to say. They do seem to be pretty similar. Just by my feeling, I think that this one may be a little bit nicer. It like absorbs into the hair a little bit nicer, but this one's fine. I think I'll continue to give this one a go and see how I feel in the future, but I mean, I'm pretty happy with both of them. This one does feel a little bit more professional, but they're both 100 mils. Uh, both got a pretty good pump on them. So I think I would probably rate this maybe an 8 out of 10. Whereas this one I would probably give like an 8.5 or a 9. Um, I do really like both of them. Taking price into consideration and availability, this is probably a really, really good choice. Um, if you were interested in either of these products. I really don't know where you can find this one apart from at a hair salon and I don't know what hair salons you might be able to find it at. So yeah, that's probably why this one might be a better option. But there's not a heck of a lot of difference, just the absorption. This one seems to absorb a little bit nicer and leave a more natural finish. But this one is absolutely fine as well. So yeah, that's probably what I would rate that. So yeah, I'm gonna go finish doing the rest of my hair and getting ready for the day. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you again next week. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to keep supporting my channel. So yep, thank you for watching. I will see you again next week. Have a very good week. Anyasia, bye bye.